how's the workout process been going for you so far? It's been it's been good. I've been all over working out for about uh, nine to ten different teams already, so it's been a good experience. Uh, do you feel like the, the feedback from any teams in particular were better than others? Have there been any teams that you feel like are strongly interested in you right now? Yeah, you know, you never really know. They try to, you know, they give a little feedback to your agent, things like that. You know, uh, it's really a secretive process for the most part until, until the draft actually comes around. And then, and then, you know, once you're on the draft day, you know, the team really likes you, they pick you. Are there any misconceptions about your game or, or you as a person that you feel like you're having to clear up during this process? Um, nah, you know these teams, and they invest in millions of dollars into us. So, you know, for the most part, they uh, they do their research on us. They know what kind of people we are, and I feel like they know uh, our games. And you know, I guess the misconception on my game sometimes is that I'm a uh, that I, I shoot first point guard. I say, you know, the thing is, you know, I do whatever the course you know, do in the basketball. Would you compare yourself? to any NBA players? Is there anyone who you kind of try to pattern your game after? Well, you know, I really like guys like uh, Stephon Marbury before. You know, he's not in the NBA anymore. That was one of my favorite players growing up. And also, now I look at my game more like Chris Paul. You know, throughout the game, he's really a distributor until his crunch time. You know, in the fourth quarter of the games, he takes over and scores a lot. So I feel like my game, uh, I feel like my game, the best is Chris Paul. What sets you apart from the other point guards in this class? Uh, you know, I feel like my uh, competitive nature, my competitive nature and, and uh, my clutchness in games, you know, throughout my career, you know, I've been able to, uh, to to will my team to victory late in games and hit big shots to win games. So I feel like guys, the rest of the point guys here in my class really don't have that resume like me. What is... Um what, what's going to be next for you once the combine is complete? What, what are going to be some of the next steps for you? Well, I have the, uh, I have the uh, workout for Memphis Grizzlies on Monday. Uh, then on the 15th, I have Detroit Pistons. 16th, Orlando Magic. And 18th, I got the, uh, the uh, Indiana Pacers. In the NBA, do you see your role being much different from what it was in college? Do you feel like you're going to have to make some major changes to your game? Yeah, definitely. You know, we all, um, for the most part, I feel like we all will have to uh, make some kind of changes in our game. You know, hopefully I'm fortunate enough for an NBA team to pick me up. And, you know, my role is going to be playing every minute of the game like I did at Xavier and doing everything for my team. So, you know, in the league, it takes time to develop and become more into, uh, more into a starter or something like that in my career. Uh, you know, with becoming a professional comes a lot of financial benefits. Have you thought of it all about what it's going to be like to have that type of pay increase and be able to take care of your family? Yeah, you know, that's always a part. That's why we, you know, at the end of the day, we all love basketball, but that's also a part we need to make a living for ourselves. We want to be a grown man, so we can't, we can't just, uh, we can't just live and not think about uh, taking care of people around you. So, you know, that's where you have financial advisors and accountants and people that's close to you that love you to make sure that you can manage your life and other people's lives.